Success granted. When you dealing with a real one, you dealing with a real one. You dealing with a traditional one, you dealing with a traditional one. And what happens when a real traditional one bring heat to your ass? Peep this out. I'm be a totally 110%. I think I didn't find my husband yet because all the women expectations is really having the men go into a hole. Because who the hell is y'all to say y'all want a man that makes 500000 a year? And when he got laid off, we found a way because I was determined to have his back like I would expect him to have mine had I got laid off. And that's exactly what happened. I had his back until he found another job. Dumbasses. And they let it be known that they're dumbasses the moment they open up their mouth. These unrealistic high expectations is keeping them without a man. Now, we could play devil's advocate if you want to. All right, let's go on ahead and play devil's advocate. I love it when a woman keeps them high standards and talk like that. Continue to do that. Continue to let men know what type of woman not to choose. Continue to let men know we need to stay away from your ass. Even a high value man will know not to choose you to stay away from your ass. Look at your character. Look at how you carry yourself. Look at how you market yourself. And you a woman with no value. So, no value, no substance, just a mouthful of talk. They hide because of y'all unrealistic ass expectations. Send me some eye. They got enough to make sure that I got lights on, water running, I'm smiling and we eating. Y'all asking for the most. Y'all want a man to buy y'all a boat. Oh, uh, uh, I can't even say it right. Y'all want a man to buy y'all a boat, a yacht, and a crib, and pay for your kids' schooling, your desires, your kids' desires. Like, that shit, you see, you hear how unrealistic that shit sounds? Can't take down my pillow. Hey, y'all can't. Can't take down my pillow. Let me just say this and make this, uh, public service announcement very very clear if a man is making 40,000 a year starting that means that man has the ability to make more but we're gonna start at 40,000 his bills is paid he's able to save what he gets he buys he has no drama he lives in life. He lives his life in peace. He has peace of mind. He's able to travel and do the things that he wants to do to to live his best life. He has no no issues, no nothing, no baggage. That's a high value man. He know he is kind to himself. He keeps himself in shape uh, physically spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, he keeps himself in shape, keeps himself together. That's a high value man. A man that's on his purpose. A man that knows um, what he needs to do. A man that knows the type of woman he needs. A man that is on the grind. A man that does not take no for an answer. A man that does not waste time, but he uses time. That's a high value man. A lot of y'all women sound ridiculous. That's why we ain't got nobody yet, because y'all scaring them into a damn hole. Please, separate me from everybody else. Husband, come find me. You ain't got to make 500 k for me. I'm. You could make $500. If you can make that shit work all year and I'm eating, I'm good. And that's it. And I've always said that long as we can cut on the light switch, long as they, there's food in the refrigerator, who cares about who, who makes more money than who? My money is our money. 
Your money is our money. We both have something to bring to the table. These modern women, you see why they're single. And they tell you. They will tell you. They will tell you in a heartbeat. You will know why they single. The moment they open up their damn mouth. But that being said, go live your best life. The best version of your life. For many to see. Success is yours, men. Success is yours, ladies. Go get it.